back, everybody. Meteorologist Jeffrey Hool here. We're waking up with some beautiful sunshine this morning as that sun begins to rise. A little bit of clouds are still possible, but you can see over our live weather camera here in Bluefield, that's going to be that moon over on the left-hand side of your screen. And it, we're quickly getting some daylight outside, and the clouds will decrease throughout the day, giving us some more sunshine. Let's get a look at temperatures starting out this morning as we are in the 40s for a lot of our viewing area. Some still struggling down to the 30s. We've got 38 degrees in Lewisburg, 37 in Tazewell. Meanwhile, over in Pineville and Welch, we've got 42, 45 in Hinton and Richlands, with 41 in Beckley, Princeton, and Union. Now, looking at the satellite radar, you can see we have seen quite a bit of clearing this morning, but some stray clouds still moving in, parts of northern Wyoming and northwestern Raleigh counties. Otherwise, looking at a bunch more sunshine this afternoon. Let's look at the future cast and break it down a bit. Still looking at the possibility for some clouds today, but mostly sunny otherwise. Around 4 p.m., we're going to see those temperatures in the mid and upper 60s for much of our viewing area. Over in Grundy, could be pushing near 70 degrees. Same with parts of War and Pineville. Otherwise, down in the valleys, we're going to be seeing those temperatures sitting in the mid and low 60s. Now, into the evening hours, we will see more clouds starting to filter in, staying partly cloudy overnight. And tomorrow on Friday, we'll start to see a frontal system push into our area. And as it does, we'll see heavier cloud cover for much of the day and a chance for a few stray rain showers. That chance of rain still going to be on the light side on Friday and Friday evening. Saturday is going to increase a little bit as that warm front begins to push through our area, giving us some scattered showers in addition to the heavier cloud cover. But then we'll dry up quite a bit Sunday and Monday with the return of showers and thunderstorms for Tuesday. Let's get a look at the surface map and see this visually. High pressure up towards our north. That's going to be what's keeping us dry as it's filtering in the dry air from the northeast. As it moves off to the east, though, we'll see this frontal system start to push in. And as this warm front does, it's going to be firing up some clouds and some showers for our Friday and Saturday, with, of course, more widespread rain on Saturday. And as that warm front completely passes through our area, it's going to be bringing in some warm air from down in the south, and that's going to be giving us some very warm high temperatures for Sunday and Monday. Today, tomorrow, and Saturday, still going to be sitting in the 60s, a little warmer by Saturday. But then Sunday, you can see we're going to jump up into the upper 70s with 78 degrees, and then Monday, even warmer than that with a high in the low 80s. Very warm temperature, our normal high right now about 66 degrees. Looking at that extended forecast, of course, sunny Sunday and Monday, but Tuesday, we're going to see a cold front out behind all that warm air. That's going to give us the chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Right now, that severe threat is a little low, but we are still six days out, so a lot can change as we head towards that day. Overnight low is going to be mild from now on as we sit in the mid and upper 40s and low to mid 50s all week long.